Good morning. Today is Friday, November 27, 2020. Top Iranian Nuclear Scientist Killed Iran Defense Ministry Iranian state television reported that the scientist who, as alleged by Israel, led a military nuclear program in the early 2000s has been assassinated. High-ranking Iranian nuclear physicist Mizan Fakhrizadeh, who, Israel alleged, led the Islamic Republic's military nuclear program until its disbanding in the early 2000s has been assassinated in an ambush near Tehran. Fakhrizadeh was shot and injured by terrorists in his vehicle in Absurd, a suburb in eastern Tehran, and later succumbed to his injuries in what amounted to a martyr's death, Iran's foreign ministry said on Friday. Local authorities had confirmed Fakhrizadeh's death several hours earlier and also said that several attackers were killed. Israel declined to immediately comment on the killing of Fakhrizadeh, whom Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu once called out in a news conference saying, Remember that name. Israel has long been suspected of carrying out a series of targeted killings of Iranian nuclear scientists nearly 10 years ago. The semi-official Fars news agency said witnesses heard the sound of an explosion and then machine gun fire. The attack targeted a car that Fakhrizadeh was in, the agency said. Those wounded, including Fakhrizadeh's bodyguards, were later taken to a local hospital, the agency said. State television on its website later published a photograph of security forces blocking off the road. Photos and video shared online showed a Nissan sedan with bullet holes through windshield and blood pooled on the road. No group immediately claimed responsibility for the attack. Iran's foreign minister has alleged the killing Fakhrizadeh has serious indications of an Israeli rule. Terrorists murdered an eminent Iranian scientist today. This cowardice with serious indications of Israeli rule shows desperate warmongering of perpetrators Koma Mohammad Javad Zarif wrote on Twitter on Friday. Fakhrizadeh, 63, had been a member of Iran's Revolutionary Guard and was an expert in missile production. Fars news agency said this was why Israeli secret services had long sought to eliminate him for many years. A military advisor to Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei accused Israel of killing Fakhrizadeh to try to provoke a war. In the last days of the political life of their ally, U.S. President Donald Trump, the Zionists, Israel, seek to intensify pressure on Iran and create a full-blown war comet Commander Hossein Dihan tweeted. The U.S. Pentagon also declined to comment on reports of the attack. Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Amir Hatami tweeted that the assassination displayed the depth of enemies' hatred towards the Iran. Fakhrizadeh led Iran's so-called Ahmad, Hope, program. Israel and the West have alleged it was a military operation looking at the feasibility of building a nuclear weapon in Iran. Tehran has long maintained its nuclear program is peaceful. The International Atomic Energy Agency says that the Ahmad program ended in the early 2000s. Its inspectors now monitor Iranian nuclear sites. Friday's assassination marks the second high-profile targeted killing of a top Iranian official after IRG Seeks Force Chief General Qasem Soleimani's killing in a U.S. airstrike in January this year. Fakhrizadeh's killing came on the eve of the assassination anniversary of another top Iranian nuclear scientist Majid Shariari, who was killed in 2010. He had survived a few assassination bids in the past. Thanks for watching News Time 9. If you like this video please subscribe the channel, like, comment and share this video.